Hello there, dear friends, and welcome once again to the Relaxed Fantasy Review. On this channel, we spend our time looking at fantasy of all sorts, from books to movies to video games, and applying the characters within into the tabletop game Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. Today, though, we're going to be looking at a core mechanic of D&D itself. Specifically, we're going to be looking at a subclass from Xanathar's Guide to Everything, this subclass of the Bard, the College of Whispers. The Whispers Bard really doubles down on dark magic and psychic energy, really twisting people's minds with illusions and psychic energy, and it's actually a really, really cool subclass. But how does it work mechanically? Let's find out. First of all, level three, uh, the College of Whispers get their psychic blades power. They use a bardic inspiration, and when they make an attack with a weapon, they can add psychic damage to it. It starts out at 2d6, and it goes up as they level up, all the way to 8d6 of the higher levels. Imagine stabbing someone with, your, someone with your rapier using a bardic inspiration die, and they take an extra 8d6 psychic damage. That's really good. I say that's an 8 out of 10 power. It's a shame that you have to use your bardic inspiration to do it, but you got to spend some sort of resource. Then they also get the Words of Terror power at level 3. If you can talk to a person for one-on-one -on -one for a minute, then you can force them to make a Wisdom save. If they succeed on it, nothing happens, but if they fail it, they become frightened of you for one hour. This is a weird one. I'm not sure in what situation you'd be able to sit down and talk one-on-one, -on -one, maybe during an interrogation, but even then there's usually guards nearby. And the idea that you have to sit down and have this like dark conversation, it feels very role-play worthy. I'm not seeing the mechanical use though. And then once they're frightened, what? They can't move and they're frightened for the next hour so you can do things and they won't inter interfere? I, I just don't see the purpose here. I feel like this is a a weird one that someone focused a little too much on roleplay and not enough on function. I give this 5 out of 10. And then this continues uh, up to level 6 with the Mantle of Whispers. If a creature dies within 30 feet of you, you can capture its shadow. The shadow you can then spend and make yourself look like the creature in question. You adopt their image, and you gain a few of their basic memories so that you would know things that they would have recently known. This is really good for infiltration purposes. You get to look like someone else, you can talk like someone else, and you can know th basic things they know. Or, you know, you could use Disguise Self, Detect Thoughts an actor feat, perhaps, and a disguise kit. Uh, this feels like an ability that is unnecessary. Like, this is a subclass feature, a level 6 subclass feature, when other bards are getting, you know, powerful abilities, and you get a, an upgraded version of Disguise Self, which you have to kill someone to use, too. So, I really feel like this is just a wasted power. Why? Why do this? Take... If you really want to be an infiltrator, there are feats and spells to do it, and this just works double duty. I give this 3 out of 10. This is not useful at all. And then finally, at level 14, they get the Shadow Lore power. This is a little better. As an action, you whisper something to a creature that can see and hear you. They make a wisdom save. If they succeed, the whispering sounds like unintelligible nonsense and nothing happens. But if they fail it... They think that what you're saying is a dark secret that they do not want revealed to the world. And because you know their secrets and are threatening to tell it, they become charmed by you for eight hours and will basically do anything you want. They won't necessarily do anything suicidal, but they are very inclined to help you out because you threatened them. At the end of the eight hours, they actually don't remember why they did it. They don't remember anything and this mysterious secret, which you actually don't have to know as a bard. It's a magical effect. Um, is just kind of gone from their mind. So not bad. This It's a cool um, variation on domination, except it doesn't 
uh, use a spell slot, no one has to die, and if it fails, they just think you're making noise at them. So there's no downside to it. I'd say 7 out of 10. It, it's okay. It's, it's a little bit weak for a high-level feature, but it works. Overall, the Whisperer's Bard gets a 6 out of 10 from me. Those middle features in the in the middle of their their subclass just feel unnecessary. It really feels like someone just decided they were going to go full role play with this and not think about the fact that people can role play without mechanics. People role play all the time. The Whisper's Bard is a great concept, but the mechanics don't buff it up any in any way. And it takes until the high levels until you get a real mind control power. Psychic Blades is cool, I guess, but you have to use Bardic Inspiration to use it, so overall I say Whispers Bard, 6 out of 10, not your best pick. This has been the Relaxed Fantasy Review. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe down below, and keep your eyes peeled for more subclass reviews coming down the line soon. Have a good one, my friends.